But this is one of those moments where that person now, after word vomiting, okay, now they're like, oh my God, I'm so distressed. Please don't be mad at me. I, I, I mean, I just, I've just been under so much stress lately. I just like, gosh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have never even said that. <laughs> and, and ugh, no. And then you have the seven of wands in between you. It's like, uh-uh, we're not playing that game this time. No. I just like that. I'm just like so sorry. The <laughs> nine of swords with the moon. No. Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day, for your moment, whenever. Yes. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading, so this could resonate for you at any time, yes? Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. It is the weekend. We are officially halfway through September. Let that sink in. We are officially halfway through September. Next thing you know, Halloween's gonna be knocking on our door. Which is exciting. I love Halloween, but... Yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, uh, let's just get into it. I don't really have an agenda here, so... Um, I have nothing to, to start with, nothing really to... No story time or anything, so let's just get into it and see what's going on for the collective today. Here we go. Holy Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the energies in, of these situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys. Um, so I've decided to use the, uh, the Revelations Tarot again today. Um, I really like how that flowed yesterday, so I'm going to go with that again today. Yeah, this is five shuffles. One. For the collective. Ah. For the collective. Ah. This is two. Happy Friday, guys. <laughs> Yay. This is three. <laughs> four. And this is a five. Yay. All right, cool. Let's see what we've got for the collective today. What's going on, Spirit? What do we want to talk about today? Boundaries. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, my, my, my. Isn't this just interesting? Overall energy is the nine of swords. Okay, and we were taught, we talked about this in great detail yesterday, this nine of swords energy. It seems like somebody fucked up, said some shit they shouldn't have said, and now they're regretting it. Like, straight up face palm moment. Queen of Swords in reverse. And you see how she's, she's got, like, she's total face palm right now, right? Yeah. With that, you have the Queen of Swords in reverse, and then you have the Seven of Wands. Now, that, 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 this is on one side of the equation, okay? So, somebody here, somebody said some shit they shouldn't have said. Or somebody acted in a way that they shouldn't have acted. I, I feel with this Queen of Swords in reverse, 
I mean, it's it's really it's not hard to understand what the Queen of Swords in reverse is. If the Queen of Swords upright is hard, straight to the point, no no argument, no like no bullshit. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to play with you. I'm not here to play. I'm not here to argue. The facts are the facts. It is what it is. Cut, done deal. Let's move forward. The Queen of Swords in reverse, however, is a nasty, vindictive, spiteful. She is not, I mean, of, of any, I'm going to be honest with you guys, of anybody, of anybody in the deck, whether it be pentacles, cups, swords, wands, the, 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 the two individuals that you really don't want to be up against when they're reversed are the king and the queen of swords. Okay. Because these individuals, when they're reversed, they just go swinging their sword around and they don't give a flying fuck who they hurt. Or, or they just, they just pop off at the mouth and like they've got a razor sharp tongue and they don't give a damn who, who's, uh, 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 who their words affect or even how or why. That's on one side of the equation, this queen of swords in reverse. Okay. In between is the seven of wands. On the other side of the equation is the king of swords, upright, mm -hmm. with judgment in reverse, the hanged man in reverse, and the knight of pentacles. Now, now, So there is, there seems to be on this side of the, on the side of the equation with this King of Swords here, who is upright, it seems that there is some sort of movement here, okay? You have the King of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. And what I'm getting with this energy of the King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles is that whomever is on this side of the equation, um, you're very logic, you're very balanced, your ego is in check, okay? And it feels like you're moving forward towards something. I don't know if you're actually moving forward towards that yet. But you're what I'm hearing is you're planning something. Or you're planning on making some sort of move here. In some sort of new direction. Judgment in reverse and the hanged man in reverse. Um... I don't... I. I don't want to say this is bad. I don't feel like this is bad. And I'm trying to really look through. I'm really trying to look through the images here to make sure that I, to see maybe if I can pick up on something that is. I, I just feel like you're in whomever is in this King of Swords energy here is planning on something is trying to move forward with something. I, I just get this feeling that. Um, with judgment in reverse, it's not it's not quite time to move forward yet. Okay, the hanged man in reverse feels like you're still in a little bit of a stuck or stagnant place. But again, you guys, that doesn't feel bad. Okay, these energies don't feel bad for this individual on this side of the on this side of the table. I don't even want to. I don't even really want to talk much about this. Although I know some of y'all are here for the drama, so we'll see. But. Um, on this side of the equation, with the King of Swords here and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're planning planning something. And with the Hanged Man in reverse here, it just feels like it's the Hanged Man, not because you're stuck and stagnant for any negative reason. It feels like it's the Hanged Man in reverse because you're still trying to gather the information. You haven't reached the Enlightenment yet or the full... You haven't reached the full payload yet. You don't know what to do with this energy yet. You don't know what to do with this new information. You don't know what to do, quite frankly, quite yet with this direction that you seem to be called in. Judgment is in reverse with this, okay? But I don't feel like judgment is bad in reverse. It literally just feels like the time is not right yet. Like 
the angels or the universe is about to blow the horn and say, okay, we're ready. This might be so, so, so for whomever is on this side of the equation with the King of Swords upright and the Knight of Pentacles, it feels like you're preparing for that moment when the universe is like, okay, we're good. Let's go. The time is right. Let's go. Now, I'm kind of wanting to focus more on this energy, this King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, just because it feels more positive. Um, but I can't overlook what's here, okay? Over Again, overall energy is the Nine of Swords. You do have the moon underneath that, okay? So not only are the fears illusionary, but it's like you've got the moon underneath that. So it's like double illusion type energy, right? Um, but you have this Queen of Swords here in reverse, and then you have the Seven of Wands in between them. Now, somebody, I just heard somebody's in the right here. Or at least somebody has every right to be planning their next corn of act, uh, their next um, plan or their next move. They have every right to be planning their next move that the way in the way that they are, in the manner that they are with the mindset that they are in. And I feel like part of this face palm energy moment for this person here on the Queen of Swords in reverse or in the Queen of Swords in reverse is like, you really screwed up this time and whomever it is that you popped off against or whatever it is that is happening as a result of this, whatever boundaries have been put in place as a result of this, you only have yourself to blame here with this Queen of Swords in reverse. It feels, it, it almost, there, there, with this Queen of Swords in reverse here, it feels like this person is left to the energy of, fine, just go, just go. I mean, I can't argue with you about this. It happened, we can't take it back. So like, whatever, I'm not even, like there's almost a defeat, a defeated energy in this Queen of Swords in reverse here. So this might be uh, this might be a relationship type of situation. This could be within a friends group. Obviously, this could be um, a romantic situation, you know, between husband and wife potentially, or just a committed situation, long-standing relationship potentially. Hmm. And then you have the seven of wands in between okay so there are hard boundaries in between you two right now hold on a second I gotta let jinx in last thing I want to talk about before we move forward here because I am wanting to get a secondary pull on this to get a little deeper understanding of what's going on but the last thing I want to say before we do that is this nine of swords energy is at the bottom of the deck and regardless as to what's happened here I really want to say with this Nine of Swords energy, number one, you shouldn't be surprised. Number two, I really don't think it's as bad as it seems. Ugh. Now Orion wants to come in. Hold on. I would love to get a cat door here, but that's a pretty big modification. Um, and that's not something I feel comfortable doing in this apartment just because I don't feel like I'm going to be here forever. You know what I mean? Or I'm really not going to be here for that much of an extended amount of time. Um, I mean, I, I'm not trying to foreshadow and say I'm, I'm moving again. I just don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm in my own manifestation phase. But like putting a cat door in my apartment just is not feasible, especially since I have a metal door. As, like both, both of my doors are metal. And the front door is pretty, is, is a thick one. That's, she's thick. So like, that's just not a, that's just not a thing. But unfortunately, plans for the next space, right? Okay, anyway, so what I was saying, the nine of swords here, first of all, you shouldn't be surprised. Honestly, with this nine of swords and then the moon underneath that, it's almost as if this is kind of taunting someone and being like, is this really as much of an illusion or an, as of a mystery to you? as you might want to believe, like, do you, are you really surprised here? You shouldn't be. You really shouldn't be. 
Because what I feel like happened here is somebody got a whiff of somebody else's dark side. And that, and and I don't even I don't even want to bash a dark someone's dark side like that or like a like the topic of your darkness. Because there is a difference between letting your shadow, uh, 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 letting your shadow, letting an unhealed shadow or an unintegrated shadow aspect run amok. There's a difference between letting an unintegrated or an unhealed shadow aspect come raging out of you and a, an aspect of yourself that's a little bit darker but is healed and integrated to be truthful and honest and open. Like, like you don't have to, uh, what I'm trying to say here is just because there's a darker element to someone that may be expressing itself, it doesn't mean automatically that it's bad. Doesn't automatically mean that it ha it's unwarranted. Doesn't automatically mean that it's, um, that the, it, it shouldn't be expressed or heard. But there is a difference between an unhealed shadow aspect and a balanced integrated balanced and integrated shadow aspect that is seeking expression naturally. And what it feels like here is somebody's dark, 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 unhealed, toxic shadow side came raging out. And yet the other people surrounding this situation, whether this is a group of people or whether this is just an, a, 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 a twosome, like, like a, 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 a romantic relationship, Whomever else is involved here, I feel like, to a certain extent, really shouldn't be surprised. And probably isn't surprised. And that's why we have this easy, easy feeling of the boundaries being placed here. Like, this is literally like, okay, you know what? That is the last time you were going to speak to me like that. Or that is the last time you were going to treat me like that. Or that is the last time I'm going to let something like this happen. Something around those lines, right? Honestly, this does not feel like a surprise. And maybe, oh. Oh. So maybe that's why we have the hanged man and judgment both in reverse for the other side of the equation. Because this is not a surprise. Because you've been hearing this call all along. Because you probably received this insight all along before. The hanged man in reverse, judgment in reverse. So now maybe this is a situation in which someone is finally is finally like, okay, you know what? I've seen enough. I've heard enough. I don't need I don't need any more evidence. I'm ready to make my judgment call. I'm ready to give the verdict, says the judge, King of Swords. Jinx, are you serious, girl? You can't wait like you can't wait like 10 more minutes, 20 more minutes. Really? Is it that bad? Are you going to die, Jinx? <laughs> anyway, King of Swords. Now it's okay. So finally, somebody somebody fucked up. Somebody said some shit they shouldn't have said. Somebody acted in a way that they really should have acted. But again, we shouldn't be surprised. And at this point, somebody else is like, "You know what? It we're done here." Because now it feels like somebody here is putting, with this King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, someone's putting a plan into action or someone's starting to get their shit together to make some sort of moves. Juicy. All right. Instead of pulling another, in, instead of pulling more to see what's next or see what's coming next in this situation, I just want to talk about what's going on here. I just want to stay in this little bubble and just talk about this. Number one, because I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to like out anybody's plans here. Yeah. Number two, because I really feel like we should just really discuss this. We should unpack this right now since it's in front of us so we can get a greater understanding. But I'm going to let Jinx out first. Hold on. Okay. Orion's decided he's going to stay in a little bit longer. <laughs> of course now that i sat back down no he's fine okay what do you want to go in or do you want to stay i'm sorry do you want to go out or do you want to stay in he can't decide so he's just gonna have to stay in we're gonna give this three sh 
Four shuffles. Let's give this four shuffles. One. We're going to get some clarification. This is two. Honestly, 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 you guys, I'm looking at this Nine of Swords energy at the bottom of the deck here, and I almost want to laugh. This is three. Because it feels like now someone may be playing the Pity Me card. This is four. All right, all right, all right. So, third time's a charm. This is four. There we go. So, what I'm picking up on now is that this could be, this could be a codependent relationship. This could be a narcissist empath dynamic. This, uh, because I feel like somebody that now, somebody with this Nine of Swords energy is either is trying to play the victim or at this point, and this is an element of why we shouldn't be surprised as to why this is happening or why this has come to pass. Because at this point in the game, this is when that person who popped off at the mouth, said some shit they shouldn't have said, right? Done, acted in some way that they really should not have acted in. But again, we should not be surprised. At this point, this person would be playing the woe is me card. And I know this is not the five of pentacles. It's the nine of swords. But I feel like someone here is going to the extremes or at this point in the game would be going to those extremes to pull on someone else's emotional heartstrings to pull on somebody else's heartstrings to get them to forgive or forget or let it boil over or this that and the third and now this is leading me to feel like this actually could be a relationship a seriously i just tried to let you out he didn't want to go out the back door he wanted to go out the front door there is barely any difference. It's not like this apartment is that big. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe from his point of view, it is. Hey, hey. I do not have his perspective. What I was saying, though, is that this feels like this could be a situation with a, a, a toxic family situation. So maybe the individual that's acting this way is a mother. Um, is your mother? Is your mother-in-law? I'm getting a feminine energy. I mean, it is the queen of swords, but it doesn't have to be a woman or a feminine energy. We could just be talking about the energetic principles of the queen of swords, right? Okay. Uh, this could, but see, this could be anybody. This doesn't just have to be like a friend or a, a romantic partner. This could be a family member um, or something like that. But this is one of those moments where that person now, after, after, after word vomiting, okay, now they're like, oh my God, I'm so distressed. Please don't be mad at me. I, I, I mean, they're just, I've just been under so much stress lately. I just like, gosh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have never even said that. And they're, and, and, ugh. No, no. See, no. And then you have the seven of wands in between you. It's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. We're not playing that game this time. No. I just like that. I'm just like so sorry. Nine of Swords with the moon. No. We're not doing that this time. Ugh. Okay. So with that said, let's clarify the Queen of Swords a little bit. Yeah? What's this Queen of Swords in reverse, please, Spirit? Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, yo. I swear to God, sometimes I love these fucking cards, man. Because they just be, they just be speaking, they just, they're like, the cards don't lie, you guys. Like, the cards literally have no reason to lie. <laughs> and it's not even the cards themselves. I mean, the cards are imbued, embossed with the energy, okay? But energy doesn't lie either. And, like, sometimes they just, like... Yeah, okay, this definitely could be a family situation. Four of Wands in reverse. It's, I'm not sorry, Four of Wands is upright, but the Four of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Um, but look at what's come out here. To clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse, the first card out was the King of Wands. Okay, 
So first of all, this is an this is an example as to why we don't really have to be talking about gender at all. Okay, this is principle. I mean, we all have max, uh, masculine and feminine energy within, right? So, and this, this right here is the perfect depiction of this person's energy. The Queen of Swords in reverse, clarified by the King of Wands. The King of Wands doesn't give a fuck. Go ahead and call him the Honey Badger, because Honey Badger don't give a fuck. Yo, Honey Badger do what he do. He out here. Better get the fuck up out his way. Because he's on it, okay? But this is exactly the reason why this person feels like they can play this game. Because they don't care about anything else other than their own wishes, their own desires, their own being. Their own opinions. They are all about themselves. And then they walk around here feeling all entitled and bullshit, saying things that they really have no business saying. Getting themselves involved in situations they really have no business getting involved with. And then they stick, they stick their nose where it doesn't belong. They act in some way. They pop off. They say some shit. It blows up in their face. And then they play the woe is me card. Then they start pulling on the heartstrings. But you see, they only do this with people they feel close enough to do this with. Because the tactic is to pull on their heartstrings to get this thing to just blow over. Talk about the ultimate privileged Karen type energy. You have the King of Wands with the Four of Cups. Okay, this is clarifying the Queen of Swords. The King of Wands with the Four of Cups is saying that this person was so centered, so, I'm hearing, so dead locked in their way of thinking or the whatever their opinion had to say about the situation. They were not willing to accept anything else. Four of Cups. And the reason why this boundary is now being put in place between the King of Swords and this Queen of Swords in reverse, straight up and down, a lack of reciprocity. Balance between give and take. This is not an oligarchy, is what I just heard. Maybe it's supposed to be. Uh, 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 maybe it's supposed to be an oligarchy, but it's not. And thus, there are boundaries that need to be put in place. Am I using the right term there, oligarchy? I don't know. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know where that just came from. But, what's, but something that I used to hear as a kid was, this is not a democracy. Okay? I'm the parent. You do as I say. Check it out. We're not kids anymore. And you don't get to rule me the way you used to. So now I'm going to tell you this. At this point, it's a democracy. Right? Now, you have more cards here. You do have the Three of Pentacles, uh, which goes with the Six of... Hmm? Ooh, with, ooh. Yo, somebody, somebody, somebody popped off in their normal way. We really should not be surprised here, especially with this fucking king of wands here, right? You really shouldn't be surprised. Okay, but somebody else on the other side of the equation, this king of swords with the knight of pentacles here, switching it up. Because what came out to further clarify this queen of swords in reverse you have the Six of Pentacles, which fell on top of the Seven of Wands. I didn't, I failed to mention that before. But the Six of Pentacles fell on top of the Seven of Wands, okay? So the reason why this, these boundaries are being put in place, there's a hard pass on that, is because there's a lack of reciprocity. There's a lack of even exchange, okay? And that is with the Six of Pentacles, is, has come out with the Three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So first of all, it's not a balanced give and take. Second of all, it's not an equal partnership, three of pentacles. And thus, somebody has decided to make a change, the wheel of fortune. And, and that actually 
I just picked up on. That actually could be why we do have this Nine of Swords and this Moon energy here. Also why we have this energy here, because something's changing. The karma in this situation or the karmic balance in this situation is about to change. And I feel like the Queen of Swords is in reverse here is so is face planting so hard right now because now she sees it or now he sees it. There ain't no going back this time. There are no retract. There is no retraction of your words at this point or this time. You've crossed that line one too many times once is bad enough. And that also is part of this judgment in reverse, hanged man in reverse. This person here in the King of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles, who finally seems to be making some moves or taking some new action steps or at least planning them, should not be surprised. The hanged man in reverse and the judgment in reverse. You've been here, you've been called. Again, let me say this one more time. Crossing that boundary once is once too many. But apparently it looks like this person has been able to cross this boundary over and over and over again. No longer. And this could very well be a situation in which the person that is putting these block, these boundaries in place, this King of Swords energy, it doesn't even really have to be someone that you're all that associated with or you haven't been associated with this person. You don't have to have been associated with this person for far too long. This could be a new individual that has come into your life recently that the other person felt comfortable popping off with like this because it's a fairly new relationship. Fool me. What, like, and, and this other person and the Queen of Swords in reverse is used to getting multiple chances like this, right? Not this person. Because apparently if this is a new person in your life that's represented by the King of Swords here, that is putting a hard pass or a hard boundary, First of all, they've been going through these types of lessons themselves for a long time outside of your involvement, okay? But once was enough for them to be like, oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Mm. But the reason why once was enough for them was because they've been going through this type of situation for a long time. At the bottom of the deck now is the Four of Wands, right? I showed you this before. So what the Four of Wands is saying to me is strong foundation. The strong energetic backing to really put these boundaries up. Okay. Let's look at the King of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and then with the Hanged Man and Judgment in reverse. What's this energy on this side of the equation, please, Spirit? This King of Swords. This King of Swords. What's this King of Swords, Spirit? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, in diddly fucking do. Page of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Brand new day. Somebody changed their tune real quick, didn't they? Somebody changed their tune real quick. You have the Page of Wands, which is, which is a messenger which is a new creative reality. I often see the Page of Wands, or, or at least you can see the Page of Wands as representative of maybe a midlife crisis or one of those moments where you were one way before and now some shit happened and now you're a completely other way. Like, you know what I mean? Switching it up on them. Changing the game. I'm hearing changing their alignment, which makes perfect sense. Because on this side of the equation, you've got the Queen of Wands. Look at how you two are mirroring each other. On the other side of the equation, with this Queen of Swords in reverse, you have the King of Wands. Which is a selfish, egotistical, self-centered, narcissistic piece of shit. On this side of the equation, you have the King of Swords with the Queen of Wands. So in some cases or in some ways, you guys, this absolutely was divinely guided. Okay. You two, you could even call this a soulmate situation in which you two came into this in, in, into this incarnation to have this moment in time, however brief it may be. You were aligned with each other to go through an experience for whatever your end result ends up being. I can't define that for you. That that's for you to just to quantify. But okay. Uh, what I mean to say is with this king and queen of swords and king and queen of wands, this was meant to happen on some way or on some level. 
y'all were an energetic align in energetic alignment for this shit to pop off in this way somehow some, for for some reason and also okay so what else we have here on this side of the equation you have the queen of wands with the seven of cups the six of swords and the eight of swords in reverse Okay, the Seven of Cups can kind of represent the illusion and confusion that's being thrown into the situation. But remember, you have the King of Swords energy on this side. So this King of Swords energy is going to be able to cut through all that bullshit of the Seven of Cups real easy. So someone, in spite of the confusion, the illusion, and the lies, somebody here is getting into alignment with getting the fuck up out of here. Six of Swords. With the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the mental entrapment that the Queen of Swords in reverse here would like to try and keep this person in is not going to cut it any longer. Any of, any of the manipulative tactics that this Queen of Swords in reverse would use on this person to keep them in check, to keep them in line, to keep them in their pocket, ain't gonna work. Because this person sees very clearly right through all that. King of Swords, Seven of Cups, oh hell no. The Seven of Cups doesn't stand a chance to the King of Swords upright. There's one last card here. It did fall face down in the center. It's the Five of Fucking Wands. Ugh. 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 Five of Wands. Are you kidding me? What is the Five of Wands? The Five of Wands is a difference of opinion. You know what? Check it out. We can have a difference of opinion all you fucking want. You can try and argue this with me until you're blue in the goddamn face. It's not going to change a thing. My alignment is set, is what I just heard. And you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I am being called to close this reading out with the Lightworker Oracle, yeah? Five shuffles here. One. This is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Card number six. Card number six. And six is a very strong number in this reading. In between the individuals, I did hear in between the counterparts. So maybe this is a counterpart situation. Twin flame, divine union, divine partnership dynamic, something like that. But it also, I mean, also, also, we literally have a direct mirror of energy, okay? In the counterparts, you have the King of Wands and the Queen of Swords on this side. And then you have the di direct opposite, the direct mirror on the other side. The King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Look at that. Look at that shit. Mm -hmm. So yes, this between the counterparts here, okay, whether that's a divine partnership for you or not, doesn't fucking matter, all right? Between the counterparts, there is the six of pentacles. That's the main energy as to why this these boundaries are being put up. And then on the other side of the equation with the king of swords and the queen of wands, you have the six of swords as well, okay? Six is a big number here, but six is a number of harmony, reciprocity, balance between give and take. And, and your closing oracle guidance, the overarching energy of this whole situation is harmony. Fourth ray of harmony. Card number six. Okay. The fourth ray of harmony comes to you now with the qualities of beauty, harmony, and balance. It empowers you to complete a spiritual initiation. 
Any conflict you experience now serves your divine purpose. Again, this is why they're coming. This is why the energies are coming out as counterparts like this, because there is a higher purpose behind all of this. Okay. This is not just some run of the mill. You ran into someone like a last minute agreement or a last minute contract that's coming through because <clears throat> you guys are within energetic vicinity with each other. And it's a last it's a last minute little thing that you can throw in there to get some something accomplished, to get to, to learn a lesson, to 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 to, you know, boost your vibration a little bit, you know, nothing like that. Nothing like that. This is big time. This is big time planning happening here. OK, there is a bigger reason for this. There's a much bigger reason for this than just what's on the surface. Any conflict you experience now serves your divine purpose. It will eventually become the fuel you need to be born anew. Something negative will be transformed into something positive. Archangel Gabriel helps you to receive the blessing of the fourth ray now. Now, I, I do think I want to read a little bit more here, but immediately when I hear of Archangel Gabriel, I think of communication. From what I understand of Archangel Gabriel, he's a lot like Mercury. Is it, is, is Mercury? No. Well, yes. Yes, because Mercury is um, the energy of techno, well, some technology, but communication, right? When Mercury goes into retrograde, you know, all of our technology and all of our communication kind of breaks down or is a little iffy, right? Archangel Gabriel, to me, is a messenger or, or an angel of communication, helps smooth over communication when you want to get a stronger um, ability to communicate with spirit, with your angels or whatnot, whatever, call on Archangel Gabriel, something like that. So already communication is a thing here. Okay, and I might be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I feel about it. Let's, let's read a little bit more here. When the fourth ray of harmony is active in your life, you are approaching spiritual initiation, which creates a whole new person, a new you. Initiation may begin with feeling torn between two choices or realities. That may absolutely be why this person on the with the King of Swords here may have resisted this change or rejected the call that was coming through or the knowledge that they were gaining, judgment in reverse, hanged man in reverse. This may be why this individual was rejecting the reality of this in the past. Because something big is changing for you or them. Initiation may, might begin with feeling torn between two choices or realities. As you may wonder if you have, I'm sorry, you may wonder if you have what it takes to get through this. You do. As you discover your strength to be patient with the process, rather than trying to force an outcome prematurely, eventually you will outgrow the conflict altogether, emerging as a wiser, more powerful you. You, ha you will have gained a positive outcome from what was once considered to be a negative situation. And there you go right there. There's the representation of that energy of slowly but surely planning your way out or taking, taking small steps to move forward here. What the Knight of Pentacles is representing to me is that moment where someone decides, all right, it's time to move forward. How do we do that? And this is not rushing through it. This is taking it seriously. Okay. I just closed the book. Um, is there any more I want to read from this? Probably not really. Yes, yes, yes. Let me read this part, last part. When Archangel Gabriel enters your life, there will be an emphasis on the use of sound for healing and balance. So the words you use, affirmations, for example, and, and the invocations in this deck, if you have this deck, go for it, uh, will be very powerful. So will music. You may use sound to help balance and restore your energy. You'll know when it has worked because you will feel happier and find life simpler. You may not immediately solve an issue, but start, but start doing what you need to take care of yourself, knowing resolution is on its way. Also, last thing that I want to point out to you guys is that if you're looking, seeking for answers and you're going within, a lot of the time our higher selves, our sixth dimensional selves, communicate with us non-verbally. So that's through feelings, emotions, 
images, sounds, music, okay? Some of you may be getting guidance in the form of music, more specifically in the form of song lyrics. So as you're going through this situation and, and going through your process of moving forward and healing and whatever, make sure you pay attention to not only the music that enters into your head randomly, like just some random song, and you're, 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 you're mulling through the situation, you're doing what it is you need to do to handle it, and all of a sudden this random song that you haven't heard in ages comes up out of, out of the blue. Pay attention to that. And pay attention to the lyrics in that because that could be helping, giving you guidance, okay? Happens to me all the time. That's your higher self communicating with you. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>